Welcome to Brayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a yellow square which has an area of 20, uh, 75 square units and a green square which has an area of 25 square units and uh, they are actually uh, beside each other and uh, a line is drawn from the top of this uh, yellow uh, square downwards uh, the top left of this uh, yellow square and downwards to the bottom bottom uh, left of this uh, green square and uh, from uh, this uh, uh, another segment is actually drawn uh, from the point of this uh, that uh, top left uh, point of this uh, green square to this uh, diagonal uh, this diagonal of the combined uh, uh, lavender and green square but it is actually uh, perpendicular as it is given and uh, this segment is continued until it uh, matches this length this length so that's why it is actually a square the blue square so we are actually after uh, to find the area of the blue uh, square okay so since uh, we are actually uh, interested in the area of the uh, blue square so we can actually find the uh, the s i mean the if we if we let this uh, side of the blue square as s then we can actually find s square okay so s square is actually the of course the area of this uh, blue square if we let the side as s okay so our strategy here is to find the two triangles that will be related to uh, the side of this uh, the side of the blue square uh, this side this particular side so that is s as we have labeled earlier so we just need to actually draw a line from this to this uh, point of the blue square and uh, as you can see we form actually a right triangle so this is a the right triangle it is a right triangle because uh, this uh, one angle is actually a 90 degree angle so the right triangle that i am uh, referring to is this uh, right triangle okay and uh, we compare this uh, right triangle to uh, this uh, uh, right triangle this a uh, larger one so this is again a right triangle because uh, one angle is 90 because uh, this angle is 90 degrees from the green square okay okay so i have highlighted the larger right triangle as red and the smaller as orange and you may uh, ask whether these two triangles are actually uh, similar so uh, they are actually similar because let's start with this angle so if this is alpha then this is beta a complement because this is 90 since it is already a right triangle and if that is beta then since this is 90 then this is a uh, alpha the complement and this is a uh, uh, beta the complement again because this is a 90 degree because the other side is 90 and since these two are actually a uh, vertical angles then this is uh, beta also and since this is again a 90 degree angle so this is alpha so alpha and this angle is a complement so this is actually a uh, beta okay so uh, 
uh, they have actually uh, the same or congruent uh, interior angles and therefore these two triangles are actually similar okay so let us disregard the areas uh, for now uh, let us just label the sides of the uh, two squares let's label this as uh, the side of the yellow as a okay so in the side of the green as b and if that is the case this will be uh, uh, a minus b and for this uh this is actually uh, b also because this is also a side of the green square and uh, this uh if you focus on this uh, orange so the hypotenuse is actually uh, the same as the side of the yellow square and that is actually uh, a so the hypotenuse is a so a and the other the shorter leg is actually s okay and we can actually uh, compare this uh, triangle uh, comparing the the side opposite the alpha so in the side opposite the alpha over the hypotenuse okay okay so now we are to compare these uh, two triangles since we have proved them to be uh, similar Okay, so uh, let us write here a uh, red versus the orange. And uh, opposite uh, over hypotenuse. Okay, but uh, I meet to the angle of alpha. Angle alpha. Okay, so for the red, the opposite the angle of alpha is actually since this is a uh, alpha the opposite is b this b so uh, b over the hypotenuse so but the hypotenuse is actually as you can see since this is actually uh, a and this is b the hypotenuse is the square root of uh, a square plus b square. Okay, that is for the red. And for the orange, it will be equal to this ratio. For the orange, the angle is still alpha. Opposite that alpha is s. Okay, so s. And uh, the hypotenuse is uh, uh, A. A. Okay, so I have said earlier that we are to uh, make use of S, the side of the blue square, and uh, find the triangles that are proportional. Okay, so since we are interested in uh, uh, finding s square so the area well, we just need to square this both sides so square and square so we have b square over a square plus b square is equal to uh, s square over a square okay so s square is equal to if you force multiply you have a uh, a square b square all over a square plus b square so this is actually uh, the derived the derived formula to find for the area since s square is already the area okay so now that we have found an expression for the area we can now simply substitute the uh, values given so uh, again we have here the value of uh, s square 
equal to a square b square all over uh, a square plus b square so a square which is the area is equal to a square but a square is actually a uh, given to be 75 times uh, b square given to be 25 all over uh, a square plus b square so uh, that is a square is 75 plus 25 so s since s square is equal to the area already then we just need to simplify this so this becomes uh, 100 and 75 times 25 is actually uh, 1875 so uh, if we divide this by 100 so this becomes a uh, 18 so we just need to move this decimal point to the left because we just, we are just dividing it by 100 so this is zero so move to the left that will be 18.75 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.